and to show you how to make a very simple chain. Um, so get your rectangle, decrease the height to let's say whatever, 250. Then give it a rounding, maximize the rounding to whatever it takes. So this will be our outline. Can actually make it a little bit more. 125. I think it's the max. Cool. Um, so we're going to be using our uh, sweep. And this will be going to be sweeping around, but we need an object. We need a spline that we're going to be sweeping it. So we're going to use a circle, decrease diameter, then first go circle, then rectangle, and boom, we have a chain link. And to make it an actual chain, we will need a cloner. This is what we get. Lovely. So the simple way, the most simple to, to, to get a, a straight chain would to be just to move it here. This goes to 90. And then remember, we have a chain. So if you want to achieve a uh, chain that is just straight, that's perfect. And obviously we can move this around and uh, how far it is, how close it is. Maybe we don't want all, all 90 degrees and that will give us this kind of a different pattern. But that's all cool. But I want to have it uh, follow the spline. So to obviously make something more difficult, more different than than just the uh, uh, just a straight line. So zero this all out, then bring a uh, matrix object. So matrix will be will be the thing that guides our uh, guides our uh, cloner. So we set it to linear, and now here where the magic happens. So we're going to use a cloner. We're going to set the cloner to, to clone an object. And as a driver, we're going to use the matrix. So there you go, a nice clone. And now we're going to move away. So, and then here will be 90. So they're basically the same thing. What's the difference though? What do you think? What's the difference here? The difference is that we can use a spline wrap to drive this. So spline wrap is here on the modifiers, um, which is here. And if we're going to put it on the cloner, nothing going to happen. Like It's actually going to break stuff. So what we're going to do is put it under the matrix. And because the matrix is a driver for a cloner, whatever the matrix does, the uh, chain will follow. So let's uh, draw a nice spline around. Nothing too fancy. Let's make a kind of a no, no, not. Cool. Um, let's make it a little bit more three-dimensional. Because for now, it's nothing special. So this down. Let's say this up and I want so it's not really uh, cool. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, this is the shape I've come up with. And it's a little bit too close for my liking, but whatever. So now let's use the wrap. So i um, click the spline wrap and as a as a spline, we use our spline and then this will just spread out all our cloners to um, to fit the spline. What we want to do is keep length. So just keep our length and it's not long enough. So let's increase the segments. And it goes, if we go past it, it will just go straight line. So it's not a big issue either. So uh, yeah, this is how you make a chain. And this is a fully procedural chain. So we if we if we start doing this, well, this will just be jumpy because it offsets whole um, Whole chain. Let's start with the one with the first link. So if we feel like this is too far, all of them will change. Or we just decide, you know what, this is just weak chain. We need something thicker. Let's get our circle and just increase the diameter of the circle. And now we have a thick chain. And uh, yeah, this is how you do a chain. All right. Cheers, guys. See you later.